Welcome. My name is Jesse and you are listening to The Wake Up Call. This show is about opening your eyes to how you've been living, bringing awareness to the standard you've been operating at, and helping you start living to your full potential. There are two ways I'll help you do this. One, by disciplining your mind, and two, by strengthening your body. It's time to take stock of your current performance and go to the next level. Let's do this. Are you giving your best? I mean, are you really giving your 100% best effort? This is something that I want you to start to think about with your life. Whatever your values are, whatever you hold most dear and close to your chest, the things that are most important to you, I want you to really analyze and start thinking about what level of output you are currently operating at. And when it comes to this question of, are you giving your best? Everybody hears this and everybody wants to answer this question with a yes. Yet for most individuals, it's a lie. You know yourself better than any other person on the planet. You know exactly what you're capable of. Now what I want you to do is think about that for a moment. Think about your capacity, your potential, what you are truly capable of achieving with your life. And then on the other side, think about how you're currently living, what you're currently demonstrating, what your actions are showing in your life. And again, I ask you, are they aligned or is there a gap between the two? Are you really giving your best based upon what you know of yourself? And for some of you listening, this is gonna like this is gonna be a punch in the face. You're gonna to have to really look in the mirror and hold up the facts, how you're acting, how you're living. Are you giving your very best effort? And I'm not just talking about once a week here, or you know when the timing is right, or when you say, yeah, it's convenient. I actually might give my best. I'm talking about giving your best every single day. This is what identifies the winners and the losers in today's society. The ones who realize the importance of today and every day, those are the ones, those are the individuals, those are the people who excel in all aspects of their life, with their career, with their family, with their health and fitness, with their self, Self-image, self-confidence, self-esteem, self-belief. The people who understand the concept of time and giving your best every fucking day. These people are the high achievers. These people are the ones that you are looking at on social media. You think they seem to have it all together. And the reason that they seem to have it all together is because they do have it all together. They're not waiting for a better time or the perfect circumstances to get their shit together and take action. They're too busy doing it every single day. Now, the people who don't understand why every single day matters and how today and how you act today impacts tomorrow, those are the people who will get nowhere in life. These are the people who will spend their lives watching from the sidelines. They're gonna watch all of these people doing these fun activities, changing their life, upgrading their career, starting a family, changing careers, whatever it is that you wanna do, you're gonna watch them do that while you cross your arms and say, oh, I wish I could do that, that'd be nice. There's no difference between you and them. The only difference is they're dedicated to doing the work and being their best self every single day. The individuals who moan and complain that life is hard, these are also the same individuals who do nothing to make their life easier. These are the people who want the shortcut, the easy route, the path of least resistance. And if you've been listening for a while, you know that path leads fucking nowhere. It does not take you to where you wanna go. It doesn't help you get your fitness in order. It's not gonna help you create great relationships. It's not going to 
help you advance your career. You need to do the hard things. You need to tackle the challenges face on. Yesterday I sent out my weekly newsletter and I'm sure that it ruffled a few feathers. I'm sure it gave some people who've read it a proverbial punch in the face that perhaps they were not expecting. But I did also outline that delicate snowflakes should not read it. So for the people who did read it, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it did give you a bit of a wake up call, a bit of a slap in the face. But the message within the email was a powerful one. And I wanted to share that with you today here on the wake up call. For me personally, as an individual, not as a business owner, not as you know a family person, but me as an individual, as Jesse Fuller, every single day I evaluate my performance and how I showed up today. I don't leave it up to chance. I don't guess and I don't hope that things are gonna turn out the way that I want. I am responsible for my life, as you are responsible for your life. But the reason that I constantly and critically evaluate my own performance and how I act every day is because I know that time is fleeting. I understand the concept of time. Not being able to actually look at your watch and say, it's whatever fucking time it is. But I understand clearly that once today is finished, it isn't coming back. Think about that for a moment. After today, it's fucking gone. Blink, it's gone. It's not coming back. You don't get that 24 hours back, it's done. So today you have the opportunity to show your best self, to develop into a better human being, a more capable human being. Or you could choose to coast, do the bare minimum, and be an average piece of shit. Now doing this, it is very demanding, yes. It is challenging. I have to ask myself these hard questions because I demand the best of myself. Because I know what I'm capable of, as you know what you're capable of. But this internal questioning and self-reflection, it drives me to make the most of my time and more importantly, to become a better version of myself. Every single day, not Monday to Friday, not when it's convenient, not just when it's hot, every single day. It is my obligation to give my very best for myself, for my family, for my students and clients who come in to work with me. I owe it to all of these people. I owe it to myself and everybody that I come in contact with to be the very best that I can be. I am obsessed with getting more out of myself because it doesn't just benefit me. It benefits every single person that I come in contact with. And this journey of self, self-development, self-improvement, it always pays you back. When you commit to this path that I'm talking about, you see the connections, you start to connect the dots. You read a book, you become smarter, or you gain more experience and understanding in a certain area. And therefore, you can make better decisions moving forward. That's a fantastic investment of time and mental bandwidth. You go and lift some weights. You do a little bit more than you did last week because you know about the progressive overload principle. And then as a result of doing that, you become stronger and fitter and more mobile and all of these other great things that come with being physically active and overloading your body. You work on improving your business or the way that you go about your work and you get better results as a byproduct. Or maybe it puts you in a position to be considered for a promotion. Or maybe you get to a certain point with your career and you think, fuck, I've actually got enough smarts and I think that I could do things a little bit better, so maybe I'll start my own business. You can't develop this mindset and way of thinking by coasting through life and just thinking and hoping and wishing and praying everything works out for you because that's not gonna happen. And I wanna share some questions that I ask myself on a regular basis to see what level I'm performing at and to see if it's actually aligned with what I say that I'm working towards. Can I do more? 
Now, when I mean more, I do want to distinguish this. I don't mean doing more stuff. I don't want to be busy. I want to be productive. If you can get eight hours worth of work done in two hours, that is a better outcome than doing that eight hours, okay? But can I do more? Can I do more? Am I using my time effectively, yes or no? Can I create systems that are going to better streamline you know, exercises or tasks or activities that I have to repeat on a regular basis? That would make me more effective. What am I avoiding in my life? So maybe there's that one thing that started out as a small little problem. And then when you don't address it, it grows larger and larger. And then all of a sudden it becomes this elephant in the room and you're like, holy shit, how am I gonna move that? That is taking up so much mental space and it is creating anxiety and stress for my life. I wish I had gotten over that and I wish I had addressed the problem when it was small, but now it's really fucking big. This is gonna be a monumental task. What are the things you're avoiding? Staying away from, procrastinating on. And this one here, how else could I have gotten better today? How else could I have gotten better today? Could I have applied myself more? Could I have maybe thought about what I was going to do before I actually did it? So thinking logically and rationally as opposed to acting emotionally, maybe. How else could I have gotten better today? That is a huge question, fucking huge. If you just ask yourself that question every day for a year, your life will be completely different in 365 days. But when you answer these questions honestly, with no judgment and no ulterior motive, and you just be truthful, you start recognizing trends. You start calling yourself out on your own bullshit. Oh, I really need to get my life in order and start working on my nutrition. Yet you're still ordering Uber Eats three days a week. You're still drinking piss. You know, by piss I mean booze. You're still having these four mocha latte frappuccinos with two sugars. You know, how are you gonna, your actions are misaligned with what you say is important. But you start to recognize some trends when you ask these hard questions. Maybe you think, oh wow, I'm actually doing really well over here. I'm excelling over here on the left. But on the right, ooh, that is an area I am really performing badly at. I am performing very poorly over here. That needs to be addressed. I need to bring that level up. So, I encourage you to look at your life in detail. See how you're spending your time and see how you are using your energy. And ask yourself, are you getting better? Better at what? Whatever is important to you. It might be your health and fitness as priority number one. It might be your family and your relationships. It might be your business or your career. But are you getting better? Do you have tangible evidence? So facts, evidence. Do you have proof that you're getting better? Are you improving upon what you did and who you were yesterday? Because if you're not, I want you to go and tell everybody around you, anybody that means something to you, that you don't care about being or giving your best. You go up to your wife, your, sp uh, your spouse, your partner, and you say, hey, I don't really care about being my best for you. You mean that little to me that I'm just gonna be average. I'm gonna just stay where I am. I don't wanna get better for you. I don't wanna even get better for me. Think about the words that I just said there. Saying those words, that's fucking soul destroying. Like, I, it, it's actually hard for me to say those words because I've conditioned myself to such a point over the years where that is unfathomable. That is something I cannot even comprehend. Not giving my best? What are you fucking crazy? How could you not give your best? But let's say that is you. You're happy just coasting, just getting by doing the bare minimum, doing only what's in the job description. And let's say you can go and tell everybody that means a lot to you and say, hey, 
I don't want to get any better. I don't want to improve myself for myself or for you. I'm just happy being, you know, average in the middle. Because that's what you're demonstrating. If you're not prepared to go above and beyond what you're doing, you're not going to improve. You're not going to develop. Every single day is a chance, is an opportunity for you to get better, become a better person. And it's not just a chance or an opportunity. It's more than that. It is your obligation to extract the very best from yourself. Because I can tell you right now, nothing but your best is good enough for yourself and the people who matter to you. So go and think about then. Think about that when you start living your life and continue going through your days, weeks, and months ahead. And ask yourself periodically, are you giving your best? Not what you call your superficial best, but what you know deep down is your absolute best, your limit, your capacity, your full potential. Because until you do that, you're selling yourself and everyone else around you short. Don't let that happen to you. If you loved the wake-up call, found it entertaining, or got some benefit out of listening, I would appreciate you helping me to spread the word. Please share it with a friend or on social media so that you can pay it forward and give someone else the opportunity to improve themselves like you just have. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon for another episode.